Hello and welcome amigos. Today I'm going to show you how to grill your carne asada. For this recipe, you're going to need some chuck beef and the piece that I'm using today I found at Costco, which you'll find under chuck roast. What we're going to do with these is we're going to slice them into thinner pieces that we need for our carne asada. And this knife that I'm using, I'm going to link it in the description area. I think it works great whenever I have to cut any type of protein. And it, slice, it slices through the beef like butter, and I really like that. So it's really going to be up to you and how well you were able to slice your beef. So I went with the thick cut here. And over here we have the little bit thinner. But they are pretty thick. They're going to be super, super juicy. And if you don't want to do this step, you can always get it at your butcher shop. Ask your butcher for your beef or your carne asada. The only seasoning that I use for my carne asada is salt and black pepper. But for those of you that need a little bit extra, I definitely suggest any of the Kinder seasonings work for grilling. It doesn't matter if it's just lemon pepper, whatever it is, pick your favorite Kinder one and I'm telling you, it's going to make your beef taste absolutely amazing. But being from Sonora, uh, we only use a little bit of salt and rare occasions it's going to be black pepper and I use both. Now the art to the great carne asada is to go ahead and season it with your black pepper. You're only going to sprinkle salt on one side of your beef, okay? This is to prep you once we head to the grill as to what's going on. So once your beef hits the hot grill, you're going to put it salt side down. You're going to need a little bowl of salt outside and what you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle more salt on the side that you haven't salted and once your salt disappears you're gonna flip it okay because I don't want you guys to get confused when it's time to grill so this was an experiment piece but the rest are just gonna be salted on one side and we're gonna go and get our grill started I'm using tumbleweed natural fire starters but you can pick any one that you have access to and now you're gonna set up your charcoal so that we can light it up. Remember not to completely seal because you need a good airflow while you're starting your fire. Hey neighbor, how are you? We're about to make some carne asada, you want some? You want a carne asada burrito later? So I'm just gonna wait here about, um, it's gonna be 20, 30 minutes until our coals get nice and red and then we're gonna be adding our carne asada. Remember it's the salted side down. And boom, done, amigos. I'm going to continue with the remaining pieces of beef.
And now it's time to start slicing our carne asada. Look at how amazing this piece turned out. Nice and thick. You can even serve this for a hungry, hungry person. They would eat it all. Would you be able to eat all that, baby? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna start slicing. And what I like to do is I like to chop up all my beef into smaller little pieces and it makes it great for meal prep throughout the whole week. And nobody's gonna complain because you get the flavor of carne asada in every dish. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... There you go, babe. That's all you. Thank you. While my little guy is tasting that, I have another piece for you guys. A nice charred piece. Yummy, yummy. So good. How is it? Thumbs up? <laughs> I got a thumbs up. Those burnt ends are my favorite. And boom, done, amigos. That's how you make a Sonora-style carne asada. I hope that you enjoyed grilling with us today. And these are the perfect meals that you do all the work one day and it's gonna last you however long you have it in your freezer. And friends, your carne asada might be gone the day that you grill, but try to save some so that that way you have an easy meal throughout the week. And really, that's all you have to do. You just need salt, a little pepper, and make sure that you're using mesquite for the best flavor for your carne asada. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Adios.